Hello everyone. Welcome to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So last time we added foliage to our levels and after adding foliages I, en uh, I encountered some lighting problems with our dynamic day and night lighting system we have already created. Uh, as you can see in this example it works uh, without any issue you don't see any harsh lighting or too bright landscape or any other lighting issues especially in the night time so this is in the night time it looks okay but initially I'll put this aside for now now I'll minimize this so this is my previous scene so after adding the time of day system again into my foliage added level I had some problems for example if I set this to night time like this it should be it is now it is 1 a.m. in the night but it still looks too bright and if I set it to like 11 uh, in the morning so it lighting is okay but this uh, landscape is somewhat too bright and against to that I can see the glass grass blade does not blend properly that happens mainly because of lighting issues and as it as the Sun falls and the night begins this uh, lighting in the environment does not change according to the way I need it to be so right so I'll show you how to fix it first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fix this landscape to brightness issue so to do that I'll open my landscape material like this I have already shown you a tutorial how did I implement this material and here I'll add another parameter like this and I'll promote this to a landscape brightness right and I'll set the default value to 1 and I'll apply okay so the shader compiling and I'll take out uh, this landscape material instance here so I got this landscape brightness parameter now okay and so with this parameter I can reduce the brightness of the landscape like this so if I set it to something like this it looks okay it uh, it looks fine I'll set it as leave it as 0.2 so now that as you can see the grass and uh, the ground texture blends uh, properly compared to what we had earlier so the next thing is uh, next thing I'm going to fix is I'm going to fix the our day and light night lighting system so this is what happens now so before everything I'll go here and disable auto exposure for now because with auto exposure we can't really see what's going on so I'll just disable that for now and uh, now here you see this grass is uh, too bright compared to this landscape landscape is pitch black and the grass is bright that happens because even if it is, is the 
if it is the night time we still have this light source and it has this color and this light source is facing upward if I show you here as you can see here this light source is facing upward since it is upward is it does not put any light in onto the ground but is still it uh, it uh, uh, its light is reflected on the grass so that's why we can only see grass but not the ground to fix that I'll do something like this I'll open my BP Sky Sphere extended version which I extended it to support dynamic day and night lighting system so here we directly set the sunlight color with this uh, horizon color instead of doing that I'll create another sunlight color lookup table LUT color color curve this one and we already have uh, this sunlight color load which comes with starter content so I'll make a duplicate of this and I'll go here and here yes yeah, you can see after for the minus values we have this orange color so instead of that I'll add uh, some blue black color here okay before that I'll show you how does it in action so I'll put this one here and duplicate this one okay and so this is how we get this color value from that table I just showed you so I'll go ahead and compile it and so even if I added the new table you can still see these crosses are too bright so here I'll open this and I'll set its color to something like this let's see and I'll compile it again okay I'm not getting any changes so I'll make it here and completely black instead of blue and still no okay so the problem that it wasn't getting darker as I was expecting that's because there was some build data here so after I delete in the build data it started to become darker right so now uh, after I uh, add in this linear color new sunlight load and set the color with that for the direction light I got this uh, dark effect in the night so when I set it to like in the 12 environment color is like this and when I set it to 8 in the morning it is like this and 6 in the evening it is like this 
so I'll show you a little demonstration here okay so this lighting is somewhat fixed but still in the night time I can't see really see anything that's because our skylight intensity is too low to fix that instead of feeding the skylight color using this zenith color curve I'll do something like this I'll use a make color node here and I'll break this color here like this and to be clear I'll collapse this into a node make color and inside there inside there I'll define a minimum and maximum value for these colors so I'll clamp these values like this and right G here B here and alpha here here B here and alpha here and for the min I'll make a literal float and I'll set it to something like 0.1 and for the max also I'll make a literal float and I'll set it to 1 and I'll plug all of them like this so that I can change the min and max of the RGB values for this for our skylight and I'll compile this and yeah still I am not getting enough light in here so here instead of 0.1 let's say use something like 0.5 wait this is not even night yet so I'll put it into night time right so uh, okay first I let's start from 1 no 1 is not enough let me check Oh, I have disabled this. All right. So now we get this effect. So I'll put this something like 0.5. Yeah, that looks better for the night time. Mm. Okay. Let's try play. So this is night time and actually I don't like this uh, orange color in the night let's fix that later so okay so this is how it looks in 2 a.m. and this is how it in 3 a.m. this is how it looks in 4 a.m. right and we get this orange color because of this exponential height fog so let's change the scattering color this one of that fog as well in a different way so here we set it directly from the horizon color curve and I'll use a node 
similar to this and I'll plug it here and I'll take the color from our sunlight all right now I'll compile okay so it looks better now but still the sky is too white I think but in let's try it in something like midnight okay so this is our night time now well it already looks better I think and let's see what happens when it Uh, when the sun rises okay where's the sun oh there all right I think it's good now right it looks better in the daytime and it looks better in the evening as well as the sun sets and yeah now sun is down and it's getting darker and darker and now it's the sky is becoming dark also so this is the night time and for a game we can't actually make it pitch black as in the real world because player should be able to see the environment even in the night time so I think I'll leave it like this or if you need to make it a little more darker you can play with this fog scattering color here so instead of the minimum value 4.5 I'll make it 0.1 so see it's now much darker because of not having fog so yeah I think that's all I wanted to show you for today to fix and restore our time of day system and I think it's fixed and it looks really nice to me all right and if you have any of the problems with your time of day system after adding foliage and grass and everything please let me know maybe I may able to further assist and thank you see you in the next video goodbye